Days are upon us and for many families that means picking out the perfect Christmas tree. Yeah, it can be a task and it can be a lot of fun. But this morning we want to know which type of tree do you prefer? A real tree, a fake tree, or maybe no tree at all. You can weigh in right now in our live interactive poll online. Just go to WXYZ.com slash vote or you can click on the push alert that we just sent to your smartphone. In the meantime, if you are looking for a fresh cut tree, we're going to try to help you find one, the best one. Yeah, 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live from Blake's Orchard in Armada talking to the tree experts, Matt. Yeah, I love this, guys. We're actually going to be jumping out on the tree farm a little bit. You can see they got the tractor fired up for us out here at Blake's Orchards. Yeah, they're not usually open. It's a bit dark. You can't see all the trees just yet, but at 8 o'clock, that's when they open. The sun is up, and boy, is it a sight out here. We're actually going to talk to Dave Blake, one of the owners, in just a little bit here. But a couple quick facts for you if you're tuning in this morning. More than 25 million Christmas trees are sold in the U.S. each year. The real trees are a jobs creator. Also, you're talking about a year-to-year -year cost over a lump sum if you're in the market for a new tree. So less down up front. On the flip side, artificial trees can last five to seven years. So if you shop smart, you might find some cost savings over time. And artificial trees may be less hassle. But of course, out here at Blake, well, they like them real and they like them fresh. We're actually going to jump up onto the trailer right now or the wagon. Uh, if you actually come out here ever, this is what you get to ride out to the tree farm. We're joined with Dave right now. Now, Dave, I know we're going to be riding out there in a little bit. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, real versus fake, you guys got to love the real trees here. Real trees are where it's at. It's a great experience out here. And, and I think that's one of the things that people talk about. You can buy a real tree on a lot, but here you get to actually go out there and saw it down. So do you need much experience in order to pull this off? Not at all. A lot of first time traditions are started out here every year. It's an awesome time. We've got about 80,000 trees that we grow out here and it's just a great experience, great time, great Christmas, Christmas atmosphere, family, fun. I love that idea too. It's family fun. I was out here around Halloween time and I remember all the kids running around out here. Oh, yeah. Christmas time, uh, do you tell people that this is kind of a throwback tradition or is this really a whole new thing for experience for people? It's a whole new experience for people. It might have been something they did as a kid, but something that really anybody can come out and do. You don't need to do it before. We've got free wagon rides that take you out there, we provide the saw, provide everything for you. All right, Dave's going to be getting behind the wheel in just a little bit. That's coming up in our 6 o'clock hour. And then later on, yes, they're actually going to let me use a saw on live television. We don't know how that's going to end up. No worries. It's not Paul Bunyan. No chopping. We're going to do a little bit of sawing. We'll make sure there's a guard or something, guys. Alicia, Malcolm, I know you're worried about me, but I'll be safe. You know, as long as you don't have any of the hard cider before you operate any heavy machinery, you're going to be fine. I don't know. I do pretty well. We, we, they've, they've kept me away from the hard cider so far. We'll talk about that coming up as well. Now, Matt, before we go, which do you prefer? Real or artificial? I already cut my real tree down this year, and I, I, I pitched this story just to say I want to cut down another one. It's Why? real all the way. The smell is there. Right. He is ready. He's experienced. Good